So you're in a fifth grade bilingual classroom? Yes. Tell us a little bit about what that looks okay. like. So there's one classroom is for math and science and another classroom is for um, social studies, reading and writing. You're actually in a high school class right now, right? Yes, sir. AP Tell Spanish 4. AP Spanish 4? Mm -hmm. Isn't that a class seniors take? Yes, sir. Are you in there with seniors? Uh, no, sir, but I am there with uh, other kids about my age. Okay, so what can you tell us? Um, this is math part of the class. Yes. Is this always in English? Yes, math is always in English and then science is always in Spanish. Science is always in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you, do you have a language of the day? Um, in the other class we do. So like one day we'll do where we read in Spanish and we then, then we write in Spanish and then it switches every day. I'm involved in art club and in high school art and honestly it's just a really great room to be in. Since we're Yes. So you're in high school art already? Yeah. That's um, great opportunity. I took advanced art in yeah. um, uh, seventh grade. So, so you must be really good at art. <laughs> Is your work up here somewhere? Uh, sadly yes. Right there. <laughs> sadly yes. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm a nerd basically and um, I love watching TV shows and I have a cartoon style so I was just like you know what I just kind of want to draw something like so starry and have like pastel themes to it so I just decided to draw that. Outstanding, excellent work. Tell us a little bit about what's the favorite thing you love about Randy and Brushy Middle School. I love the Gateway program. I love that it gives me the chance to explore engineering, which is what I would like to pursue in the future. So tell me more about that. You want to be an engineer when you grow up? Yes, I think I'm a pretty creative person, so I like to build and fix problems, so I'd like to. So you're in the last stretch now in yeah. the spring, yeah. right, leading Ooh. up to graduation. Mm -hmm. Tell us what's the next in your life and how do you make that connection? So um, I want to go and be an architect. Uh, I'm trying to go to be at UT because Mr. Simpson wants me to be there. But uh, that's what he would like to think. But I want to go to the School of Architecture at UT. Um, we are so close, but yet so far to that goal. Uh, we soon come up on IB tests, which are going to be one of our biggest challenges of the year. Um, um, I've prepared myself very well to go into a, a new field, a new learning environment and stuff like that. And I feel like my teachers have accommodated that as well. And definitely Miss Queen, great example. She transitions us, transitions us um, so well to be in the real world. So listen, Gabe, so you're going to go to high school next year, right? Yes, so you're going to go to Leander High School? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> And you're already going to have AP Spanish 4 as a credit. Yes, sir. You're going to have Gateway as a credit. Yes, sir. What's left for you to do in high school? One of the big things I'm going to do in high school is band. That's probably the biggest thing I'm going to do in high school. You're a sophomore here at Leander High School. Yes, sir. And you just told us that you're a student athlete. What does that mean to you? So a student athlete is talking about being a student first. The classroom part is always the most important, and that comes first to me. Being an athlete is just something that's extracurricular outside of school, something I do to better myself, try and make myself a better man, better person for out in the real world. Hi, Thank you. How are you? Come on in. Nice to see you again. To see you Thanks again. for being here. Hey, Gabe. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, pretty good. Gabe is giving us a little tour and telling us about his experience at Running Bush Middle School. So, uh, right now, here's my bear to Wow, school. you have to carry that thing yes, every sir. day to yes, and from sir. school? Yes, sir. Man, that's as big as you. You can sleep in that box. <laughs> Probably one of the main reasons I was interested in the saxophone was, uh, well, from the TV show The Simpsons. Lisa Simpson, a bear to saxophone sax. player. <laughs> there you go, great role models we have in the world, huh? Now, there's a leadership structure inside your team because this is a lot of kids in this room. Can you tell us a little yes, bit sir. about that and what's yes, your role in that? So, we do have captains and co-captains, but we try and encourage everyone to take part, step up and lead. Just the captains and co-captains are there to, you know, help the people. Some people that have distributed more of the leadership qualities earlier, but we do try and bring along everyone as we can because if everyone's being a leader, then we'll just show that everyone can step up. If the guy gets hurt, we have another guy to step up and take his place. So tell me, Ava, we're headed to the library. Yes, right over there. What do you like about the library space? Um, well, I love reading, and the library has such a great selection of books, so I find it really easy to find books that I like and enjoy, and books for my friends. If you had advice for 
say a kindergarten and coming into Whitestone Elementary like you did six years ago mm -hmm. and they were going to come all the way through the school, what, what advice would you give them? Um, don't get lost. Um, respect your teachers because they do so much work around here and they are so helpful to us and some people aren't very respectful and I feel really bad for the teachers who are disrespected. Um, another thing I would do, hmm. Maybe just like do your best in school because it's going to pay off for middle school. If you could change one thing about Running Brushy Middle School, what would it be? I was talking about it with Mr. Rose and just implementing uh, a mental health class um, that is mandatory for every student to take just to allow them to learn how to deal with a, um, a situation positively where it might, in other cases, impact them negatively. Heather, thank you so much. You've been outstanding. I really appreciate thank your you. time today.